Good morning, happy Wednesday. Here we are again. I wasn't very prepared this morning. Good morning, Michael, how are you? Um, I already got a, good morning, Sherry. A million things done this morning, but I almost <laughs> missed this little deadline. I should always remember to set my, my alarm if I'm busy working. Hi, Barb. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see all of you. So, good morning, Ellen. All right, let me turn this around because I hate when the camera is on me. Ugh. So I think I'm gonna do, I had so much, I've been loving zinnias, whatever season it is. You know, I love painting whatever is in season. And I got these at Roots, again, the little market um, by where I live um, in the places. Um, my friend Kim sells these at Roadside Blooms <clears throat> and I just love them. Um, she said they're called Queen Lime Blush, I believe. Are you in here? Kim. Good morning, Jackie. Hi, Mary. <clears throat> Good morning, Bonnie. Will I see you in Rehoboth when I'm there? That's like coming up really, really quickly. So I have an art show this coming weekend at, in Lidditz, which is like 10 minutes from my house, which I'm kind of excited about doing something that sounds so, like if I forget something, it takes all the pressure off. If I forget something, I just run home and get it. It's not always that easy because of the parking and everything. What's Steph Stephanie says, planning on coming to the literature. Oh, yay, Stephanie. Oh, good. Good, good. Oh, that's so fun. Good morning, Martha. I soon need coffee. I've been away a lot, so I haven't ordered any in a while, but I'm drinking it right now. Good morning to Australia, Rowan Dust. Um, anyway, I'm going to paint the... I just feel like it. I'm so so knee deep in doing all the things right now. I feel like I'm not keeping up. Um, so where do I start? Yeah, so I already did a tiny painting. We do these little paintings for Red Raven Art Gallery that they sell on Black Friday, little four by four paintings. And I love doing them. I love painting, tiny paintings. So I did one of those this morning already and I've been working on some projects for one of my clients. And yeah, aren't they pretty, Allie? Okay. I need to stop talking and start thinking about I need pinks and it's a little complicated. Hopefully I won't get lost in the complication of it all, but um, we'll see what happens, right? All right, so I'm going to mix up those fun greens. I do have a tube of green. Of course, there's very little left in it. Let me look at my drawer and see if I have more of it so I don't have to mix up so much stuff. I have a nice little drawer of, but I don't have that color. That's okay. I have a nice drawer of um, new tubes of paint. I've kind of been collecting them over time so that I don't always have to be um, thinking. Good morning, Gabby. Yeah, aren't they so pretty? All right, so I'm loving it. Oh, so my, I was painting already this morning and this is dirty. I think I'm going to use, I have a little baby wipe here. I'm going to just wipe it, just wipe it off. Of course, my baby wipes are, are dry. That is not gonna help. I'll just throw them away and use use them. Well, I should just use them up. I'm putting some of this um, brush cleaner, this Chelsea Lavender Blush brush cleaner, just to clean this off. Because I find that if, even I have the, the littlest bit of the wrong color underneath and I'm painting something, um, it'll pick up the color that's on the on my palette. And I don't want that. I'm going to keep my, those bright colors. I'll save them and use them, even though they're dry, I'll use them up. Just dry this better. I usually clean my palette the night before I go live with you guys, but I painted a painting this morning, so it's not clean. All right. Um, to keep really bright greens, I'm going to maybe get out... I have this cadmium yellow lemon, and I also think I have a, let's see how this is. This is a radiant lemon. That might keep it super bright. Hello to Germany. The colors and the flowers. Susie, yeah, I love the colors too. Oh, you put what? Oh, Bonnie. Yeah, because that's not like we're using them for babies and they get, they get dry. Oops, now my, I can't get my tube of paint. 
open, so I have to get my pliers. Hold on a minute. Just know I'm not very prepared this morning. Um, that's okay. Right? That's fine. So I use pliers when I can't get my tubes of paint. Like, this is one I don't use very often. So I'll just get it off with pliers. And even my paints up top here are kind of a mess. They're not in the right order. I was painting something with a limited palette, and so I had my colors close together, but now they're not. When I add it in, they're kind of a mess. Good morning to Alberta. Okay, now I think my thing's flowing. i put a little bit of this out too. So that's a very cool light, and that's a much warmer yellow. Because really, when you think about it, they're more yellow than they are green. So I will start mixing Oops. my palette knife. Yes, Ellen, you're right. I need to take a deep breath and relax. You are totally right. Oh, and I don't have any brown. I'm a little bit of brown out here on my palette. Yeah, you can tell I'm a little frazzled. Um... And what am I looking for? Oh, I wanted a brown. That's not a brown. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This will work. This will do. Sorry, I am new. Are you in the United States? Yes, I am. I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I think I'm going to need more of that paint, too. Mm, I might. No, I'm gonna put a little bit more out. Don't be frazzled. We're just happy. Thank you, Bonnie. Thanks for taking the pressure off. I'm putting the lid on my paint. Sometimes it's hard to get the lids back on. Certain paints more so than others. But now I'm going to add a little brown into this for those deep maroon kind of colors. And that's nice, but I want to brighten it a little bit. And lighten it a little bit. That's pretty. Okay, that's nice for Irma. Good morning to your husband. Now I need to do, I'm going to do like that dark kind of background. That's really the color of my walls and my living room, but it's very, um, I don't know what it's very, it's very something. It's, they're really gray walls, but they don't look that color in the photograph. They look really, really dark. And kind of for the shadow areas inside of the vase, I think I'll mix up my greens last. I want to keep it fun. Good morning, Kim. I haven't been here in a while from Georgetown, Texas. Well, I'm glad you're here today. I want... Mm -hmm. No, that's okay. I'll keep that, and then I want to add a little green into that. My transparent green. That's nice. Maybe just pull the little spit and add white into that. For my background colors, so how is everyone this morning? Where are you listening from? I'm gonna need more white for sure. Okay, that's good for my, my background colors. I'm going to add a little bit of this in, too. I want this to go a little more, a little cooler. That looks pretty. South Africa. Well, what time is it in South Africa? And now I could do greens. Treasure Lake PA. Wasn't that a fun name? Where is Treasure Lake, Barb? From Sweden. Katy, Texas. 
All right, I need greens. Um, it'll be a little interesting where the greens and the um, kind of yellows come together. All right, I need more dark, dark green. We had this color in France and we didn't like it very much, but I do use it sometimes when I need a really, really dark green and it doesn't tint, it doesn't tint well. But when I want it to be a dark color, it doesn't need to. Alleys and Queens, 1400 hours. That's 12, 13, 14, two o'clock in the afternoon. Is that what it is? Du Bois? Oh, it's in Du Bois. Du Bois? Do you say the S barb Du Bois or Du Bois? Mm -hmm. That looks super dark, but I don't dislike that. Um, all right, let me lighten that. I have some cadmium green out here. Now that looks a little too serious, too loud, too dominant, I guess maybe is a better word green I'll add a little Indian yellow into that the, I'm painting with oil paints I'm gonna add this yellow in here because I would call these flowers green but they're really more yellow than they are green Lighten that even more. There. That's really nice. Now I'm going to add, hmm, I'm going to add some of this um, uh, radiant yellow into that to lighten it even more. I don't know. That's a nice stretch of greens right there, isn't it? From Muggy St. Louis. 101 today. Wow. It's been hot here, too. Crazy hot. <clears throat> um, what else do I want? Um, I'm trying to think if I need more colors. I might want to mix a little bit of a greenish, yellowish, pinkish for those in-between colors so that I don't necessarily have to blend them. Wasn't that pretty? Maybe I'll add a little bit of this in here. I want that to go a little more pink. I think that's that's a nice stretch of color. I think that's a good way to start. I love how they all look. Um, trying to think if this is no. Let's see how. Let's just see how it goes. Good morning, Carol Ann. All right. So now I'll do my transparent layer. And let me see if I can brush. I was cleaning my brushes and didn't bring them back into my studio. I'll just use whatever I have here. All right. Um, speaking of hot, in about 206, 2006, I was in Oklahoma when we had 62 days in a row, three-digit temperatures. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I've ever experienced that. It's going to be a hot weekend for an art show this weekend. But... I don't even mind. I like warm weather. That doesn't bother me at all. But I am a little apprehensive of thinking that it could, um, you know, thunderstorms and stuff. That's just such a bother. But maybe not. Maybe it'll be wonderful from the time we set up until we tear down and then the storms can come. Now, if you can hear my neighbors mowing just kind of marking where these are. I might need a little bit lighter pink in there. Sorry, I'm not reading the comments right now. <clears throat> Did I miss anything? No. All right, I don't have any of my... They were having a sale at Michael's. I wanted to go buy some oil paint, but 
I never got around to it. I'm so bad with things like that, even though I really should go get paint when that happens, but I hate going there because you have to ask somebody to open the case up, to get the paints out, and it takes too long. I usually rather save time than money, which is not always a good thing. Not when it comes to oil paint, right? Oh well, I don't know what happened to that, so I guess I'm not meant to have it right now. Let's just go with that. Oops, what am I missing here? Nothing, I'm good. Okay, let me get my, my greens. Yeah, so in the midst of getting ready for art shows, I need to be working on some more large paintings too. This goes up to here. It's always hard to know if I'm gonna have enough of what I need for art shows. I don't worry about that too much, though. I just keep on painting, and whatever I have, I have, right? Okay. Um, I don't know if this is trans oh, here, here's this color I want. Okay, now I think I'm good. So I'm just mapping in where I want things to go. Oh, what are you saying? Order you can do that at Michael's order online and pick up? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's what you said, Allie. I missed it. Let me know. Never even thought about that. I'm so not like a person who orders things online and like nothing. Like my daughter even did that with groceries this past weekend. And I know you can do it. I just never have. But it would be very convenient. Okay. Um, let's put some... Oh, Bonnie brought it up. I'll have to look back. I can never look back at the comments afterwards because they all um, they all disappear. I think they do. I don't even think they post. Like, um, if I don't say what what the comments are, if someone's watching this later when I put it on YouTube, that they can't even know what anyone was saying in the comments. I think. I'm working towards an art show, Studio 123 Blair, Blair Gowry, Gowry says, I'm working towards an art show and often have three paintings on the go at once. When I know it's 90% finished, I move on to another one. That's a good idea. I need to do that. I just haven't built that habit yet. But I think that's a, a great plan. I have been working on one also for Isabel for her... Um, apartment in college which has been fun but it's big it's an acrylic painting I'm looking where my dark areas are and putting this in there these are all a little darker over here Um, so is the vase. So I could put the vase in. No, this is... No, that's okay. It's on the Morningtown Peninsula in Victoria, Australia. Wow. Blair Gowry. Am I saying it right? Blair Gowry, that's so fun. Did you paint the big cow? No, I still need to do that, Ellen. I did not do the big cow. I think that's going to be a winter project. Um, maybe do purples in here. My 
dark areas are. I need to get moving here, don't I? You can tell I'm a little off task today. Um, this is dark over here. And these are dark. Oh, that's pretty fun. It's getting there. Okay, and do I want to do my light? Do my light um kind of blue down here. It's getting too precious there. I needed to loosen up. Little bits of green. And I think I'm ready to do pigment sticks. I'm really ready. I think I'm ready. Okay. I'm putting my medium away and getting my pigment sticks. <clears throat> Is that kind of back and forth of trying to keep it spontaneous? But you see, I was getting a little precious with it, and I think I, I'm back to the spontaneity. Right, I need a paper towel. Great for that green pigment stick, right? Oops, I'm sorry, it's bouncing around a little bit, isn't it? Some lightness in here. This is that fun, messy beginning. Oh, let me see, what am I missing? I rode, you rode the big cow, Mary Eileen? Where'd you do that? Didn't paint it either. You didn't paint it? Gotta paint the big cow. Yes, hopefully I'll do that very soon because I promised that a long time ago and still haven't done it. I have a few commissions that I need to finish also. I try to keep commissions fun, but sometimes it does feel a little bit more like pressure. All right, that's fun. LOI, I'm St. Andrews Beach, Mornington Peninsula, just 10 minutes down the road. Oh. Um, why do you choose to use pigment stick versus paint? Bonnie, I just love pigment sticks. I don't know, they're just fun. Um, I find that it kind of loosens up my painting. Like, you can't be too precious with them. So they're like big smudges of color. And then my goal is always to hold on to some of that color popping through in the end. Um, do I need any other colors? Oh, I didn't do blue. I need a little bit, just a little bit of blue. Jackie says, I love it already. Thank you, Jackie. I'll just put the blue in the centers there. It's sort of fun, isn't it? It's that little bits of blue are so pretty. Okay, I think enough, enough fun. All right, now it's all fun. Um, Angela had us... Ride the cow. Harrison's mom was a lot of fun. Oh, I thought about going oh, that cow. You mean a paragord retreats. I know what you're talking about now. Oh my gosh. I thought about it, but I didn't. I thought I'd break the cow. I'm glad to know you didn't break the cow. <laughs> That's so fun. 
I love it. So at Perigord Retreats, where I did my um, oil painting workshop in France, there are two big cows out in the lavender field. And Mary Eileen sang when she was there, she went with another instructor and she got to get ride on the cow. So they're painted like with paint, you know, they're, they're um, figures or statues or sculptures. I don't know what they are. But I wanted to try to get on the cow. Mary Eileen, she made me get on it too last year. She really made the experience very fun and lighthearted. Oh, that's great. Yeah, see, I should have asked if I was allowed to get on the cow instead of assuming that I would break the cow. <laughs> That's so fun. Mm. All right, I'm looking to again where my dark areas are just add bits of that in so it separates the flowers a little bit and this has a dark spot in there let me see someone was going to try but there were cracks on top haha <laughs> oh did you look at it michael was it cracks on yeah we don't want that to happen we wouldn't want to break the cow at paragord retreat so i think that would probably be bad luck Yeah, what is it about an artist? Like we all think about, you see something like that, and you want to like do something with it, like get on the cow instead of just looking at it. <clears throat> I'm kind of going back and forth between thinking I need... Um, smaller brush but I'm going to try not to use a smaller brush I'm just thinking out loud I'm looking um pushing and pulling kind of so my flowers separate a little bit. <clears throat> So I'm just kind of mapping out where I'm going and trying to talk myself out of using a larger brush, a smaller brush, a larger brush. Okay. Um... some of my lighter colors down here. I can always come back and lighten that more later. over here. I always have to try and keep the sides of my paintings clean. Always ended up getting paint on the sides. I think that's enough of a hint. Um, although that I don't like that line right there. Let me work on that just a little bit. 
love how it's blending those colors at the bottom. I just don't want to mess that up. Okay, I think that's good. I like that bottom. All right, I think I have to go to a little bit of a smaller brush because I keep thinking about it. And I also really should use, I'm gonna try to use my, what are these called, the, um, the filbert? Is that what they're called, the rounded for the petals? <clears throat> okay, so let me go to a little lighter, the red. I want to keep that blue there. I love that. Um, okay. So what's everyone having this morning? Coffee or tea? dark green on this side. Now this is all much lighter in here so maybe I'll just go in and do that. They look cool, don't they? I love the centers of these flowers. They're just so pretty. Okay, mushroom coffee Ellen's having. Coffee with a touch of premier protein vanilla and loaf milk. Hmm, that's good. I never get enough protein. Cold brew. It's 90 in Chicago today. Hibiscus tea. So Carol Ann will also be at um, the Lidditz Art Show this coming weekend. And um, Stephanie, have you met Carol Ann yet? Are you still on here? And um, Sherry Bear, I think she might be listening too. She will be right next to me. So that will be fun. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a fun show. We get to set up on Friday, which takes a lot of the pressure off. I think that I'm at the point now that I refuse to do any shows where you have to set up and tear down the same day. It's just too challenging. It takes all the fun out of it. I don't feel fresh and ready to talk to people after I've spent the morning setting up my tent. So, um... But this show, you can set up the day before. So even though it's a one-day show, that's fine with me. If, as long as I don't feel awful, you know, once you're uh, there and ready to uh, talk to people and you don't even feel like it because you're all gross and sweaty. Of course, we might be gross and sweaty anyway, but that's okay. Because I think it is going to be hot. I always tell myself I love summer. That's okay. Um, and if anybody wants to come or is nearby, um, I have the, all the information about it on my website under my upcoming tab, but, um, there's a, you can go to the Lidditz, um, Art Association website, I think, to get all the information. Comments, lemon water, Earl Grey tea with a slice of my homemade zucchini bread. Karen, I wish I was there for that. Cold brew. Sherry Bear, what area what area will you be set up? Well, it's it's a small show. It's not really big. So you, you would be able to find us no matter what. Because the it's in Lidditz Springs Park. I actually used to work in that park a little bit when I was young. It's funny to think about having an art show there. Um 
but it's it's just a small park and it's i don't think um caroline do you know how many vendors there are going to have there will there will be there that will be there caroline might know beautiful colors and painting watching you helping me loosen my style we'll be going to lids oh good nancy introduce yourself when you come Caroline's at booth 20. Barb says, and right now is where the magic happens and Kim makes the messy metal into a beautiful piece of art. Thank you, Barb. In Australia, we bump in on Friday and are fresh for Saturday and Sunday and bump out for on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, Caroline said 140 artists. Well, that does sound like a lot. I think I'm at the very, very back of the park because this is the first time I've ever done it. Um... So I'm like low man on the totem pole, but that's fine. I don't think there's probably a bad booth in the park because, like I said, it's it's and Lidditz is such a charming area. Like it's a fun place to go out to eat. Um, it's it's a destination. Oh, I think I'm caught up. Yes. Okay, I'm all caught up. I answered all the questions, right? trying to decide if I need more darks underneath where I'm going to put those kind of yellows, but I'm going to worry about that later. And I don't need to paint in every single petal. I can just suggest them. Kim, you shouldn't be. You're a member. You should be. Oh, oh, there's two different areas. Oh, Caroline, good. I thought there was, that's why I guess I thought there wasn't a lot of booths because I just, I must be in that area. So there, there's other areas in the park. I see what you're saying. Because I've never been to this show. I think I'm always like away this, this weekend. I used to always go to the beach around now. I see. If they look separated enough, what is it? 838. I'm still good on time. So. Even that lighter green. Maybe I'll try my filbert. I think that's what it's called. How long have you been doing art shows? Well, I started right, I think, like, maybe the year 2020, maybe, of COVID. I, um, the one in Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia was the first show I ever did. And, you know, then, of course, nothing was happening during COVID, so I had some time off. And now I'm kind of diving back into it again. Setting up for shows is not for the weak of heart. I don't like that part of it. If I got there and my tent was all set up, I would, I love it. I love meeting people. I love doing all the rest of it. But I don't love um, setting up my tent. But I think I'll get better at it. I hope I get better at it. Let's put it that way. I don't know if I like the this brush as the kind that has like the harder bristles. It must be like a sable brush. So it feels a little stiff to me. But I do want some like individual petals like that. Do you demonstrate art at art shows? No, I I did at Rittenhouse before, and I don't even know if they have you do that anymore since COVID, but the only reason I don't is because it's hard to um, bring everything along that I would need to set up to paint while I'm there. Like when I go, my van is filled to the gills with stuff, and it would be hard for me to fit in bringing my supplies also. 
But like I went to um, an event for a gallery I'm with in Alexandria last weekend and I painted while I was there. And that was fun because I didn't, I, all my artwork was already there. I didn't have to bring stuff so I could bring that. I'd rather be painting. I mean, that's always fun. Hmm. What do you think of this? Transporting the paintings is a challenge. It requires planning. Yes. It, a lot of planning. And Carol Ann, I'm not a good planner. You're great at that. You're so good at um, planning and thinking things through and being organized. And I find it challenging. some dimension especially enough to fill the booth yes that's always part of the trick too I need a little bit of a lighter to light make a lighter green um, yeah I find it even hard to make enough art to fill the booth <clears throat> I have to work with my big ones and work on more than one large one at a time looking where my lightest lights are and then I'll put my yellows in at the very end and choosing which paintings to bring yeah that's hard to do too and then you know there's the whole thing of you, you need to Make sure they're all labeled priced and um, titles and all that kind of stuff too, which I will be working on for the next few days. And then right after that, I have the Rehoboth Art Show, which is two weekends in a row in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Um, so I have to kind of be ready for that at the same time. And that's a show that you set up um, on a Friday and then it's two weekends in a row but you leave your tent set up which is nice all right should I go in and put some of my yellows in do you think it's time I think it might be time I think I might get overworked if I don't let me work on that now I see a spot here. Now wait, before I put yellows in, I see something I missed. Um, right in here. There, that's better. I totally had that part, um, had no paint on it. Not that it would matter if some of the some of the canvas wasn't covered. It really wouldn't matter. I just want to suggest the those little flowers. That really sets that off. But if I put these in too early, um, Sometimes they get messed up. Whoops. Got a little thick. <laughs> That's okay. Got a little thick piece of um, paint over there. It'll take forever to dry. Good. Sorry, I'm concentrating a lot here. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. No, I'm good.
That's fun. Um, I'm trying still to just suggest these little flowers. The colors in this are really fun, aren't they? Of course, I don't know that I ever think the colors aren't fun, but especially fun. I have a sip of my coffee. Eight forty-six. We're still doing okay on time. Simply Artful Cottage. She said, "Looks good." And I realize I've been holding my breath. <laughs> I have to. I do that all the time. I do hold my breath while I'm painting a lot. Now, do you see anything that else that needs attention? That's needs to be lighter or brighter. Fun. It's all fun. I think I'm going to pull that thick piece off that I had there. Put a little bit more pink in here. Um, I could do a few. Okay, see anything center? Flower top left needs to come forward. Cent oh, right here. I see what you're saying. So when I want to push something forward, bring something forward, I could either lighten or brighten or sharp edge what's in front, or I could soften and quiet down what's happening behind it, and that will help bring it forward. Do that. Maybe just a little bit more. I grew these. Set up a stand to sell them and now inspired this beautiful painting. Yes. Thank you, Kim. Her name is Kim also. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking she wasn't going to be at Roots yesterday and I wasn't even going to go to Roots. And then I saw a post that she was there. I don't know why I thought you weren't going to be there. But um, yeah, I made it and I got amazing corn. My husband made corn pie for dinner, which I love. And that one I got home from yoga last night. Now maybe right here. And then I'm good. Then I'm good. I'm just fussing with it now. I don't think that it's getting any better. I think it's just changing. And that's when I know I should stop. That's really happy, isn't it? Um, looks like I didn't do anything over here. Might need a little bit. I think I kind of ignored these flowers over here. Now I just need a couple more little bits. I love the vase and stems. Allie, I know it turned out really well. Love the zinnias. It's hot time of year. They're the only flowers that can tolerate the heat. Oh, is that why they all show up at this time? Hmm. Yeah, I love I love the simplicity of that cuz that was just a few little brush strokes and I love how it looks. So always what I'm aiming for is to get that like spontaneous um something that works well. Yeah. 
ignored this flower over here completely. Okay, now I think I'm done. Finished, finished is the correct word, isn't it? Not done. So I signed it. Now, how long have you been on Did You Paint This Today? Yes, I just finished painting it. I've been on for 50 minutes. So there's my reference and my painting. I'll show you like bits in there. I love those, like see how the, the pigment stick shows through? I love that. And then there's my palette that I mixed. Ellen, you never heard of corn pie. It's like a pie shell with corn and eggs and milk in it. It's it's yummy. And sometimes you can add other things. Sometimes we'll put crab in it or chicken, but we just have regular corn pie and fresh um, tomatoes and cantaloupe. I love the food this time of year is my very favorite. I could eat that every single day because it's so good. So thanks for coming, everyone. I will hopefully save this and put it up on my YouTube channel. Be sure to um, go to my YouTube channel and give me a little thumbs up. I'm trying to build that a little bit. Um, and I will be at the Lidditz, Lidditz Art Association Fine Art Show in Lidditz. Uh, like a quiche, kind of, but it's not as dense as a quiche. Like the eggs are hard-boiled eggs. They're not um, eggs that cook in the corn pie. And oh, I could do a little post on it and share the recipe. Anyway, thank you, Barb. Hopefully it'll be a good weekend and we won't get any storms. I'm hoping it'll be great. It was great to see all of you and I'll do it again next week. So goodbye. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Have a great day.